What's going on, everybody? Man, it's been a minute, dude. So, I hadn't got at y'all in a while. I really hadn't been out here messing around much. So, but, but, we're in Bill's garage today, dude. It turned out to be an absolutely amazing day once again. So, I'm out here with the pit bike, dude. Let me show you. I'm out here with the pit bike, dude. I threw me together a little stand, just some wood I had laying around, just cut it. Put my saws off, cut me a little notch for my kickstand there. It sets nice. So, the purpose of this is that I got a flat, dude. I literally rode the back tire off the rim. Now, with that being said, we all know that I'm way too big for this bike, but we're going to ride it anyway because, well, it's our pit bike. Now, I went down and I bought tires, dude, regular bicycle tires. I don't know how good they're going to be. So I got one that's a bike shop tire. It's a 12 and a half. I got two of them, right? So the front tire is still good. See? <laughs> it's just that the weight, when I ride it, I lean all the way back. I sit back here and I put all the weight on that tire. And dude, when I ride it, man, I have fun on it, dude. I ride it, the little thing screams. So... I got to get all that changed out. I figured I'd take y'all along for the ride. I mean, we might as well. I hadn't gotten anything out. Dude, I'll give you a shot. Look, there's old Blue sitting over there. Got that gray bumper on there. Still doesn't look that bad. Got the Ford Gen sitting over there. So, them are running good, as could be expected. So, man... In auto guy DIY fashion, we're gonna set you up. We're gonna go through the process. Now, I did, I don't know, let me rephrase that. I don't know how good these tubes are gonna be. I called them tires a little, a couple of minutes ago in the video, they're tubes. I have tires on the bike already. So, I don't know how durable they're gonna be or how cheap they're gonna be. They only cost me $3 a tube. But we are going to get set up here, and we're going to run through this. That's just how we do. So let me get you posted up, and that'll be what time it is. We'll get started. So to jump right into this, man, it's a 17 millimeter on this side. And check it out, dude. Most of the time, you don't need a backup. I mean, it'll come right off. And then it's a nut. A washer your chain adjustment which is a 13 millimeter and just loosen it enough right to pull it off yeah <laughs> pull that back and then with these you would think that it sits on there like that but it sits on there upside down to fit in between your slide right there and then just slide it out, right? Slide your axle shaft out. Now you have spacers, right? You have two spacers in here. So as you slide your axle out, push your wheel forward, take your chain off, right? When you slide it out, so you have a short one, you have a long one. Your long one goes on the sprocket side, your short one goes on the this side, right? And I mean, that's really that simple, guys. So let's get up here and get some screwdrivers. We'll pull this tire off. We'll change this tube out. And then we'll carry on. Now, I did decide to buy this just in case, man. These tubes are cheap. Now, this is what I would consider a mess in a bottle. But when I was younger and I raced dirt bikes, we used to put these in the dirt bike tires, man, before the races. And they would save little pinholes and things of that nature that would come in the tube just riding it and racing it. So, I have used this before in the past on an actual dirt bike. I used to race 250s. Now, I'm going to use it on the pit bike if I have to. And if I don't, then we'll save it for a later date. Now, the tube that's in here, this tube that's in here, I'm going to save it. Now, I do want to compare the two, like I said... I don't know if this one's going to be a cheaper rubber or if it's as thick as the one that's in here. But if you remember, I got this tube offline 
when I bought the tires. So let's jump right into this, man. Let's just carry on like we are doing. All right, so I have my screwdrivers. Now, most of the time, dude, you just need these for a little assistance. First things first, let's take our valve stem cover off here. Then, so I go from the disc side, man, that little sprocket, them little teeth are sharp. So I try to go from the disc side and just pinch my tire over. And this is pretty much what you need your screwdrivers for. Once you get it popped like that, right, you get you a couple little bites like so. Pull your screwdrivers out. And then most of the time you can just pull your tire over. Sometimes these little tires, man, they're they're kind of tough. Well, just don't quite have enough yet. There we go. See, there it is. It'll slide off of there. Find your valve stem, push your valve stem out. Once you get it outside the tire like that, or not outside the tire, outside the rim like that, just pull it off. Now this thing, this back tire is filthy, man. So I'm gonna wipe it off a little bit, but before we get into that, this is what I wanna do. So we're gonna look at this. Now I gotta put a, I'm gonna put just a little bit of air in this one. I wanna look, I mean, they kinda look like the same tire there. They don't look like they're probably gonna be any thicker, which, hey, that'll be a good thing with me. So, this is the one we're gonna save. We're gonna keep this one. So if this one goes flat, we can put this in this, and then put it back in this with this and back on the bike, and we can handle business in that manner. So I got a couple things I need to do real quick. I'll click y'all back on. And we'll continue. So we got them aired up, man. Now I'm gonna, I'm looking at these. This does look like a better tube than this one. So I'm really not sure how long this is gonna last, but I guarantee you one thing, we're gonna have a good time with it while it does. So I gotta let the air back out of this. Remove this. So then we're gonna let, I don't wanna let all the air out of it, but I wanna let a good bit of it out, right? I need it flat, but I don't need it real flat. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a second. So if you let all of the air out, it's gonna crinkle up because of the way it's stored in the box. Now you don't want that to happen for the fact that so yes, I always stuff my tubes in my tires before I put them back on the rims. Instead of doing like half a tire on the rim and then stuffing your tube in there, nah, I don't do that. You know, that's the other method. That's, that's what I used to do when I was younger. <laughs> I learned this method actually helps a little bit. So with that little bit of air, right, it keeps that tube from getting twisted up in there and then when you put it on the rim, it's twisted and it just pops almost instantly. Or it tears a hole in it. I mean, they're $3 tubes. Come on, guys. So I wiped this up a little bit. When I rolled the tire off the rim, man, it made it. It kind of did a number on that old paint job. But we all know that this summer we're going to get out here and we're going to repaint it. And I'm going to probably change the paint color again. So, let's get this party started, guys. First things first, you want to stick the half of your tire in your rim. A little bit of traffic today. And with this, man, it's really cool, dude. So, just shove your tire down in, or your rim into your tire. 
and then pull it over. Look at how simple that was. Now the tire is on there. So at this point, we want to take our valve stem and put through there. Whoa, come on. And then we want to get it lined up with the hole. You can see it better from the back side here, right? And then you want to line it up with the hole. Now the trick here is once you get it through like that, put your valve stem cover on there, right? And that will save it from pulling back through. You know your valve stem will stay in the spot it's supposed to stay in. Take your tire. At this point, you just want to try to tuck the tube over the rim. That's all you're really looking for. And then start working your tire back on there. And watch, because see how that tube gets right there? If you roll that tire over on the tube in the edge of that rim, you take a chance of popping it. Now you got to be careful because the tube wants to live right there. You know what I mean? It wants to be right in the way. So just go slow. Check your tube. Get your screwdriver if you have to. Make sure that you're not on the tube, that you're only on the rim, and then roll it over, right? You have to check. You have to check, man. You will pop a brand new tube. If you catch it in between the screwdriver and the rim, you'll pop it. And there it is. Look. Valve still, still in place. So let's air it up and put it back on the bike, fellas. All right, man, we got it all fixed up, aired up, 32 pounds. Max pressure for these tires is 40, so I'll run 32. So let's get into this, man. Let's get it back on. I'm ready to ride it, to be honest with you. It's been sitting on flat for, man, I had to say a week. So, what's your axle shaft? So you're going to go space, uh, chain adjustment, like I said, you think it's gonna sit on the bike like this, but it sits what looks like it's gonna be upside down. Right, like that. So this will go down in between your slide right here. So you're gonna slide that on first. Then your long spacer, right? Because your actual shaft comes from the sprocket side. Now, you're gonna hold it up into your disc. I gotta get that camera over here. Let me move y'all. Let me get y'all right. There it is. So, like I was saying, you're gonna take your spacer, you're gonna slide this up into your, your disc, right? Now your spacer you want just like that. And then shove it once you hit your your hole there. Right, get up into your disc. You'll slide it on. Now, I'm gonna have to put y'all back on the other side so we can do this other side. So I'm gonna move y'all back over here. Right, this is the tricky part. Let me see if I can get y'all right. So you're gonna have to take your short spacer, right? And it's got to go, well, that didn't work so well. So it's going to go, you're going to push your axle back. And then you're going to put it just like so. And you're going to have to hold everything and then slide through. Well, your axle also goes through your brake right here. See how your brake goes down right here? And then your axle goes through it. So you got to hit all that. And your spacer has to be in between your disc or your bearing on your wheel. And that right there. And then once you get that, 
I mean, you're pretty much home free. You get your other chain adjustment, put it on what looks like is upside down, right? Make sure your other one is on here. You got to make sure both of them are on there or you'll fight it. Shove it through. We're going to put our chain on real quick just to have it on. Just roll it on the sprocket like so. Line that up. Washer. And then your nut, which would be a locking nut, which is your 17 millimeter. Now, once you get it started, so now we got to adjust the chain, right? Because we want tension, but not too much. And we need our wheel to be straight like this, right? Because we need that chain rolling straight off of that sprocket. And that's what we're gonna base it off of. All right, so let's jump right into this, fellas. Now, like I said, make sure your chain adjustments are where they need to be. Now, you're gonna take this. You don't wanna tighten it up, but you do wanna snug it, right? So that wheel's just not flopping around. 13 millimeter for your adjusters. We're gonna start on the chain side. So first things first, just run them into where they touch. Once these are not loose anymore like that, then you can start paying attention and start really adjusting your chain. See how they're not moving or how it's not moving. So with that, now, like I said, we're gonna base it off the sprocket. So first we're gonna check tightness, right? I get it from the side. A little bit of slack, that's actually a little tight. And so we'll loosen up, and I mean they are small movements. You don't have to get crazy. Now that's enough. Now, this is how you wanna do it. Roll your wheel, let me get you close enough. I don't know if you can pick up how it looks like that sprocket is running in on that chain. Now I'm looking at the way the teeth are coming out of the slots on the center, right? Because it's important that that's straight. So what I want to do is I want to loosen this one up and then I want to tighten this one up, right? And we do that to keep the slack on the chain but to get our will to turn some. See, and it's only small movement. Small, I mean, that right there, that's pretty much running it out where it needs to be. So, with that, my chain is well, pretty much good. So, we're going to tighten this thing down right here. And then we're going to ride it, guys. So, I didn't bring my head strap out so I can strap y'all up while I'm riding it. My bad. Now with that, it is what it is. So this is what I got going on today on an amazing day. And I wanted to get something out to you guys, man. So y'all drop down in the comments. Let me know how you're living. Let me know if everything's doing good or not. We'll holler at you on the next one. So keep living the dream, doing your thing. Like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the flip side.